OK, so the amount of a certain type of drug in the bloodstream, T hours after it has been taken, is given by the formula X equals DE to the minus 1 8th T, where X is the amount of drug in the bloodstream in milligrams, and D is the dose given in milligrams. A dose of 10 milligrams is given. Find the amount of the drug in the bloodstream five hours after the dose is given. OK, so x will be equal to the dose, which was 10, times e to the minus 1 8th times t, which was 5. So 5 hours. So 10 times e to the minus 1 8th times 5, which is 5 point three five three milligrams to three decimal places as required. Now a second dose of 10 milligrams is given after five hours. Show that the amount of the drug in the bloodstream one hour after the second dose is 13.549 milligrams to three decimal places. Okay, so you've got the first dose in the system, okay, that is still going to be wearing off effectively, but then you've got this new dose that's been added in, okay? So we've got this new dose of 10 milligrams, which has been there for one hour, and we've also got that uh, initial dosage which has now been in there for six hours, because this is one hour after the second dose, which was uh, after five hours. So this is the situation that we have. So we've got 10 times e to the minus 1 over 8. Now that's 8.82 for etc. Now 10 times e to the minus 1 8th times 6 is 4.723 etc. Okay. Now if we add these two together times e to the minus 1 over 8 plus that one we get the 13.549 milligrams to three decimal places as required. OK, so last bit. No more doses of the drug are given. At time capital T hours after the second dose is given, the amount of the drug in the bloodstream is three milligrams. Find the value of T. OK, so three is equal to. Right, now we've got the second dose that is working, which will be given to, as 10e to the minus 1 8th t. Okay, we're well, capital T, that's your second dose. Now the first dose that's working behind the scenes, okay, will be given by 10e to the power of, now we would have because t is um, after, the initial, after the second dose, this will be t plus 5. So minus 1 eighth of t plus 5. OK? So this is the equation that we're being asked to solve. OK, so what I would do first is I would really like to simplify this and factorise it, I would divide through by 10 first. So we get 0 0.3 is equal to e to the minus 1 8th t plus, now for this, okay, what I would probably be suggesting is we write this as e to the minus 1 8th t. Now, we multiply the minus 1 eighth by the 5, so minus 5 eighths. And because indices add, 
This is the same as having e to the minus 5 eighths multiplied by the e to the minus 1 eighth t. Okay? Using your indices knowledge to really break it apart. Okay. So now what I could do is I could factorise this right-hand side. Now if I bring e to the minus 1 eighth t outside of a big bracket, and I'd have 1 plus that e to the minus 5 eighths, then I can divide both sides by that bracket. Now I'm going to go over here because I've got a little bit more space. So I'm going to have e to the minus 1 eighth t is equal to 0 0.3 divided by that bracket, 1 plus e to the minus 5 eighths. So then you can log both sides. Like so. And then you can multiply both sides by minus 8 to get t by itself. Like so. So now if you plug that into your calculator, minus 8 times ln of 0 0.3 over 1 plus e to the minus 5 eighths. And we get 13.0613, etc. OK? So where it's asking... Um, at time t hours, um, the amount of the drug in the bloodstream is 3 milligrams. Find the value of t. Well, that's 13.1 hours to 3 significant figures. Okay? And that's how we can solve this problem.